ni se tap tap send si yen fa sade rowe e ma won customers ni ti tu eni won won awo UK se obetimi a create wo tap tap send wallet no e wo app no eso se e ko ba ni se tap tap rate ni e ko sra obetimi a save ska akodru mpempen so bi ti se 50000 Ghana cedis ani 50000 Ghana cedis na afei wo yi ni kakran kakra se o ba o man Ghana mu a Obetimi a service ka ewa wo tap tap send wallet na so. Abra unya o how be ya. Na tie, tap tap send a tre wo ma shimu. Akodru UAE, Netherland, and a Austria. Tap tap send a na. E ye easy, fast, and a secure. Tap tap send, papa no no. Everybody check now. Check it. Ma check it. Check it, check it. That beat is real. Don't we make it kill ya? Get your green cell and chocolate. Check it, sugar level. Check it, check it. For check it, check it. For check it, for check it, check it, check it. Green cell and chocolate. Check it, for check it, check it, check it. Put sugar level for check it, for check it, check it, check it. For check it, for check it, check it, check it. Advert has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Abinsoko! Massive cash out with Aviator on Parimatch. Charlie, visit parimatch.com.th now and enjoy showdown odds and amazing offers on your favorite sports, jackpot, and casino game. Play with Parimatch and get up to 500% Parry Boost bonus to win big like a boss. Parimatch, the game is yours. This is what's Better than approved by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. Bet responsible. No under 80. Gaming can be addictive. Abinsoko! Massive cash out with Aviator on Parimatch. Charlie, visit parimatch.com.gh now and enjoy showdown odds and amazing offers on your favorite sports, jackpot, and casino game. Play with Parimatch and get up to 500% Parry Boost bonus to win big like a boss. Parimatch, the game is yours. Better than approved by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. Bet responsible. No under 80. Gaming can be addictive. It's a way to wrap up the weekend in grand style here on Samiflex TV. And we're doing this on Showbiz Daily, powered by Parry Match Bet, as well as Tap Tap Send. These are the two organizations. Holding us down here on Showbiz Daily Live on Sammy Flex TV. And as usual, the three man squad seated for today's business, the business of the Lord. <laughs> Roland Amate is here, and in Tim Dodi Solomon is here as well. Roland belongs to the family of Shark Z Shatter Movement Empire. And Roland Report on YouTube as well as RolandReport.com. In Tim Dodi Solomon is our online manager here at Flex Entertainment Limited and for in T Dosu Digital Solutions, ready to take care of your streaming monetization. Wahala any day, any time. Behind the scenes, Richie Flex is the editor, director of the show, and Digital Rasta is the man in charge of our camera here on the show. And I know you're also at the other side, ready to listen to wisdom, information, knowledge. And we do this with you. We also want you to share your opinion on our platforms because we do this waiting for the other side. We believe in a two-way conversation. So anytime you also have anything you want to share with us, once again, feel free. Share that with us as well. And let's do business together. And remember to subscribe to us if you've not done that because here we are always in the business of sharing information. Now, I think some days ago, myself and in team Dodo Solomon Chamo, we sat down and we discussed how Nige sorry, how Kenya was going to make money from Meta, aka Facebook, Instagram, and all their related companies. And when we saw that, we were moved by the fact that this was a move by the government of Kenya to make sure its people, especially creators and um, content producers, are also going to make money. But unfortunately, whilst we were still waiting for it to come to ghana we wake up and once again it is in the news that nigeria has also grabbed it and that whilst kenya is about to get the 
power, the freedom, and the authority to monetize their works, Nigeria is also coming to enjoy this. Now, what is happening? So, as you see on your screen, Africa Fact Zone is reporting about the Kenyan one, where it says Kenyans will start making money from Facebook and Instagram monetization in June, following an intervention from the Kenyan government. Kenya's President William Ruto held a meeting with Facebook content monetization team and Kenyan content creators. And it is there on your screen. Um, the story going to Nigeria also comes with uh, some more kind of um, relief, knowing that Charlie, that thing they go, so you have to do well to also grab yours. So, uh, Mazi Tunde Ednot uh, has also shared that good news Meta to introduce in June 2024 a feature on its Instagram app that will allow Nigerian creators to monetize their content to enable them earn a living using the app. Hmm. It says Meta to introduce June 24 a feature on Instagram app that will allow Nigerian content creators to monetize their content to enable them earn a living on the app. Meta's president, Global Affairs, Nick Clegg, um, disclosed this after a meeting with President Tinibu at the, uh, uh, Richie, what's the word down there? At the something, something, something. Um, well, there is a word there that we are sure going to talk about. Of course, maybe at the presidency or something like that. But what it means that Nigeria, Kenya, I don't know about South Africa. Chemo, is South Africa already yeah, monetized? Yeah. South yeah. Africa and Egypt. South Africa and South Egypt. South Africa, uh, Egypt, and Morocco. They are already well, monetized. Yeah, yeah, they were and mm -hmm. now it is hitting the west side and um, we are at the presidential villa okay like i said earlier at the presidential villa so it is what it is so you 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 want our or no not to say you want them you sent yeah, the yeah, message, message to them, to them yes. that this is what they should do yes. and they should be quick at it is that what nigeria has also seen yeah of course i think um it's really really important in mm -hmm. uh, 2024 Okay. When uh, doing everything online, making money online now mm -hmm. is a job for some people. Yeah. So I, I, I'm surprised that our leaders mm -hmm. who are uh, who are calling themselves <laughs> digital and other stuff, like they should know what is happening and, okay. and, and move uh, along that side. And it, it, it will help. And uh, in fact, for, for their, even for their political uh, fortunes, I think these are some of the things that they can do to increase it like uh, it, it will be easy for me i can think of anybody who can put this of winning election easily mm. Mm. because be the sorry. influencers will do the job for you mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. can easily win elections if you can pull this one off but uh people for some reason they have not seen it or they, they are they are not looking at that side so okay. it, for me that's why i was so like I was, I was so uncomfortable. Yeah, let mm -hmm. me let me use that word. When I heard that he, he Baumia in particular uh, said in his vision that he wants to uh, create a platform. A, a, another platform for uh, creatives to make yeah. money. No, if you want creatives to make money, go for some of these things. Mm -hmm. It's so easy, and it's achievable. Like, so I. In the short term, like it's a short term thing, like mm -hmm. you don't need even a year to make this thing mm. happen. Mm. If mm. you can sit with uh, 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 the meta people and then negotiate on behalf of Ghana, and even at times you even give them some form of incentives for them to open up for, for, for us to also enjoy this. Because for them, it's business. If they are not, if they think that it is not time for them to to come uh, here to do such business you can also approach them and give them incentives for them to come mm -hmm. i know for sure they would have come anyway but it will take longer time because of their own research because of how they want to come you see when they come to our side like now they are in nigeria and mm -hmm. uh, uh, kenya mm -hmm. they will employ people from kenya and nigeria to monetize a uh, to uh, what is the right word to moderate the content mm -hmm. okay because of the language okay so they will employ your people whether they are from here or outside if l let's say if they 
uh, give the monetization to to Ghana, and then the they are monetizing people who are even doing tree. Now they have to employ people who understand tree, mm -hmm. so that they can moderate or censor some of the words that they may not be happy with uh, spreading on their platform. So it will create employment, direct mm -hmm. one, for Ghanaians who can speak tree or who understands tree. Mm -hmm. If they are using the language, certain language that they may need people who understand it so that they can do the moderation and all that. So it goes beyond just putting the content there and creating revenue out of it. Okay. And so that's why I, I was like, as I said, not so comfortable when Baumia said that he is going to introduce a new platform to compete mm -hmm. with Facebook, mm -hmm. YouTube and others. No, you can't. You don't have to. You don't have to. And in fact, even if you want to, you can't. Don't go for an impossible, especially within four years. You want to build a platform that can compete with Facebook, uh, YouTube, and, and even TikTok now, and others. Mm. There mm. are a whole lot, Spotify mm. and others. No, you can't. So what can you do for your people to benefit? What can you do to create employment in the system? And these are some of the ways. I mean, you can even decide that, okay, for the moderation, Ghana government for the first maybe six months will not take any uh, income tax or whatever for the people that you employ from Ghana. Mm -hmm. Like, you can give them something for them to say, okay, now we are ready to set up in Ghana or we are ready to get an office in Ghana for this. Instead of them maybe going outside, going to U.S. or wherever, to employ Ghanaians, they're fine. It's one way, but they can. You can also give them incentive to even employ local people here. Okay. And there, there's a whole lot behind just the or beside just monetization too that is coming. So if you are not pushing to take advantage of it, it it's sad. It's sad that our uh, government or our people are not seeing that light. But I think they may take a cue from what is happening in Kenya and now Nigeria. I hope that they, they will learn something from it and also push for Ghana to also get the same treatment. Well, Ro, um, how do you also see this? Well, it's, it's a very big move. Mm. It's, it's a very big move. I also saw that of Kenya about some few days ago, and I am really happy. And um interestingly all these uh the two countries in them uh, with kenya and nigeria theirs will be starting from june mm -hmm. so you realize that aside the conversations that have gone on this is something yeah, that both countries are starting from june yes this is something that they've really paid attention to and you see now the social media pages are also competing the competition is also getting high for them so they also see the need for expansion if if you should come to west africa some of the countries that are huge content creators nigeria is definitely one of them yeah and in doing so we all know the influx of what TikTok has brought into the social media market mm -hmm. in fact in terms of algorithm and how you are able to you, like you are able to get feedbacks and reaction a, a platform like TikTok is very easy for you to get Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, Facebook is also very easy compared to Instagram and, and X. Okay. So in that sense, how do you... And they also realize that, okay, now, people are moving. You know, interestingly, there are people who, have, who are on TikTok, but don't have Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. They don't. Even though Facebook and Instagram are also platforms that you can equally upload your videos and get reactions and get your message out there. Now, people, some people would prefer to be on TikTok because of the indirect monetization tools in there. Because at the end of the day, should they come on live, they will be able to get gifts. And that gift can be translated into money they are getting. Okay. Somebody, if some, the same person is here, goes on Facebook, will not get anything. Because mm. that monetization tool is not there. That feature is mm. not there. Mm. So in that sense, they, would also, they also see the need that, okay, how can we also get some of these people there? Besides, people have huge, crazy numbers on TikTok. And that is how they are doing some of these things. So to them, it is also business. 
and how we are able to make our conversations right to them is what is also going to entice them for them to also come and say okay let's mm -hmm. open it up for these people mm -hmm. so yeah i i also hope that our people would see it our people would see it and start having the right conversations at the end of the day me i always say that sometimes the people at the top there do not understand the things that we do in our space okay so it is our responsibility to give them that education to give them that data for them to know that this is the amount of revenue this is the amount of things we are doing in this particular space and should they pay attention to a b c d not just pay attention to us though. it is not just about them paying attention to us the though. real job the real job the things that matter these are the things that if we should have certain conversations with them i tell you it will not take even 10 years for us to get certain things in our space that will blow everybody's mind in fact getting our royalty system for musicians as well as movie makers is not something that can take them more than five years for them to do these things yeah for them to negotiate with some of these platforms it will not looking at how monies are being thrown around on unnecessary things like the national cathedral and more so you want to tell me that the amount of money that was spent on the national cathedral if that same amount of money was used as an incentive to for a platform like netflix to even get them to get some of our filmmakers to to put their movies on there it wouldn't be good you right. can use that money to even be and do an incentive to for even a, a platform like youtube and you can get your people there on special terms mm. and all these yes even on youtube there are certain features that we still don't have we still Unless maybe have the premium exactly and all these things are conversations that we can still have the music royalty system is in shambles and if the government says we want to fix it they can fix it with the amount of money they are throwing around it's just about getting the proper technology or software to do the job for you and it is it is not a difficult conversation at all it's not so hard to it achieve. is not so hard to achieve in fact it is if you we want to rank it is one of the easiest things they can even do for our, for our industry but unfortunately some of them also don't understand the last time we, we were in a certain office the man was asking so you that you're a youtuber how do you get money who pays you, <laughs> you understand and this is a big man that is crime, crime. that is taking mm -hmm. a decision on on our industry mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so if in that sense he doesn't even know how you are paid so imagine how the, if that person finds himself on the in on the, around a certain table and supposed to have a conversation on your behalf you would definitely not get anything better so in that sense it is our responsibility and unfortunately some of our people I come here yeah like I come here yeah mm. because some of our people get there and instead of having the right conversation tell you come they, here, might, they might not have the power to be doing that no it is not about the power Mm -hmm. it is not about the power i mean annually how many of our people in the space are able to put out their returns how many oh they won't do it how many even and those who are making it huge exactly they are even shining in fact, they will, they will exactly. even lie Some and, will and even lie. this this particular just this single move is about 20 percent of us convincing them that they should come here it's just about 20 percent of it too mm. so imagine mm. if we can't do and this is even the least of it and if we can't do this how do we convince them even with proper data that oh when we did events from january to december we were able to gather this number of people at various centers okay. so we want we we want you to see the need for you to build proper event venues for us mm, mm, how mm. how do we convince them so they would see that oh you people are just partying so let's do amphitheater for you guys at least you gather small you can do everybody it, will it might be their mom. exactly that's how they will see it because we don't give them proper data we don't do that so in that sense sometimes that is one of the reasons why this conversation we go round and round and round but we hope and pray that they will start seeing the light soon okay let's move on to the next business of the day here on sami flex tv it is still showbiz daily and once again i want us to look at a statement made by a blogger, a panel member on TV, um, DG, aka Daily Guide Network, to be specific. And during the show, the gentleman made an observation on Shatta Wale. I want us to watch, listen to him critically.
to ask my people whether we would agree with him or disagree with him on the observation that he's put out concerning Shatawali. Let's watch it. When I come back, we take it up before we move on to the next business. The Shatawali should also be careful. Me, I'll be very straight about this. Shatawali should be careful. should also be careful. Me, I'll be very straight about this. Shatawali should be careful. If not, government or some people might plan his downfall. Why am I saying this? The main reason why, from what I have now understood from the concept, the main reason why Shatawali was built was because they realized, yes, they realized with what was happening, if you don't get Shatawali, the show will be a flop. Mention any other artists that would have gone to that show or would have gathered numbers like that. Tell me. Stone boy. Is that? Stone boy. With the number of days that was left. Did you see when Shatawali posted the, the flyer? It was a few days before his performance at uh, uh, Legon City Mall. Mm -hmm. Before we even knew he was going to perform at this event. Why should it be so? What was the plan? You understand? You always wait for that. And look at almost all events. Anytime they see there's a last minute and they want a big name that can fill the, the, the event the ground. They go for Shatawali. Is that what you think? They see him as a bit, yes, to... To, to always save their face. You don't think that artists artist like Stone Boy? No, 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 no. You, we are, you and I know that if today you are planning an event and it's in one week time and you want people to, the numbers to come so it, it doesn't cause any sort of disgrace or flop in your in your brand's name, the best name you go for, the short bet you go Stone for is Shatawali. Full numbers. We are not saying full they can't numbers. full numbers, but we are looking at timing. On short notice, I think they also can full numbers. But go ahead with your submission. I'll, I'll need you to give me uh, how do you call it? Well, when, when, no, I'm coming. I will need you to give me, how do you call it? Uh, when, you, when you make a point, I'll need you to give me evidences to it. I don't want you to just cast a special because what I'm saying is based on, based on evidence. I've been in a meeting where, of course, they wanted an artist, but looking at the time frame of the, the this, it was Shatawale name they called in. So you think Shatawale I, I, numbers? Yes. Yeah. No, I, I feel whenever right. event grounds are trying to, uh, uh, event organizers are trying to organize events and they see Timing isn't favoring them. The, the, the first artist they want to use is, is Shatter. Why? So because they see him as... So you think in this case, Shatawale was brought on board because... Because they realized they, they filled with publicity one, yeah. and they, they wouldn't get the, the numbers two. Mm -hmm. And Shatawale is the only last-minute savior that can save any situation. Mm -hmm. No two ways about... If it is in two days, you put Shatawale picture that he's coming to your, yeah. your, your hood. Trust me. You pull numbers. You pull numbers. I believe so. I don't, I'm not saying Shatawali doesn't, but I feel like he's not the only person who can pull I'm numbers. not saying he's not the only person, but I'm, uh, listen to what I'm saying. We are talking about timing. The yeah. other artists, when you tell them before time, or you, you make them know before time and they put it out, trust me, they can get the numbers. Yeah. But they can't get it as quick as Shatter's owners. Yeah. Trust me, I've been at events yes. grounds yeah. where, I've been at event grounds where the, the likes of Sakodie, Stoneboy have performed, and the grounds where were cool, like the audience were cool and everything. Mm -hmm. But when Shatawale came, yep. you ask yourself, where were the extra crowd from? <laughs> you didn't get what I tried to. So any event organizer that that tries to organize the event, trust me, the the next level puller. Whenever they realize they are not selling, mm -hmm. is Shatawale. Yeah. Whether you like it or I not. You mentioned that Shatawale should be careful. So yeah, so I'm saying Shatawale should be very careful about that because it could also cause a downfall. Because if it should happen like that, and then, uh, uh, for instance, someone builds you on a show mm -hmm. very late, and you put it out and your fans are not able to see it on time. You're what holding it? responsible. It's not, the, you know how the media is already against him. But you think Shatawale doesn't care about these things. Shatawale cashes out. He, that is the thing. You, you see, he, <laughs> so he's no. honest. He gives you the money. If you're able yes. to pay, he comes. He represents. Yes. And I'm only cautioning him on that part because if that one also isn't considered, somebody yeah. might plan this thing against all him right. and then it, it will just tarnish him. All right. Long John, hold on. You know, we all know, we all, we know how this yes. media game is and how they are all acting against. When we get Even to the, the critics, media, the media has been fair. Yeah, no. I, I feel the media itself is looking for Shatawai to prey on him. And he's not giving them those those things. Like, they want him to flop or something. Are you sure? I'm telling you. I now, look at the critics that came after. Look at the yeah, critics that came after after his performance. Kim Provis performed. Pat Thomas performed. Uh, 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 how do you call it? What the other artists that performed? Ebo Taylor. Ebo Taylor to perform. Who were they discussing after the show? 
maybe they discussed Boale because of the technical. Why are you trying to be a PR for media houses? I'm not being a PR. I'm we are all in the I'm game, but you know, some, some certain I'm, times. I'm just playing the devil's advocate. I understand, but look, certain times it, it becomes very annoying. We'll talk about. That was the convo on DG Network, that is Daily Guide Network, and um, these are Roland's people. So let me start with Roland and ask that. Do you agree to the observation made by blogger and pundit entertainment critic mm -hmm. Long John? The things he's saying. Um, some of them I do. Okay. Uh, some of majority of them I do. I mean, I I am part of the team and I am also in the media of so I understand where his his frustration quote unquote may be coming from. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, lately I am, I even have a topic I want to discuss on my channel. Okay. Media as a tool of mass destruction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Media as a tool of mass destruction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Media where? Ghana media. No, uh, it's in general, but yeah. Yes, but media I Media in general control the narrative. That's why and, I want uh, but, uh, uh, my man says mass destruction. Mass destruction. Mm. I'm not sure you can say BBC is in for mass destruction. Oh, they are yeah. in for that. Mass destruction. Uh, yeah. What are they destroying, Chemo? Uh, they, they they propagate lies and they also see things in a certain line to capture some kind of ideology. Mm. And a typical uh -huh. example a typical example will be the uh, the you gay know. issue, the alphabet issue. They are for it. So anything positive they will say about it. And mm -hmm. if it is destroying some people, it's, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. If Africans are against it, but that is the angle that you want to go. Mm -hmm. You are just mm -hmm. using a narrative to destroy a group of people. Okay. okay so, so I get it from mm -hmm. that angle. Yeah. Okay. So let me continue. The thing is that mm -hmm. I, I agree, especially with the kind of politics that is churning out in our music industry. Lately, I also tell some of my colleagues that if you really want to know the true colors of the industry, one day, tell people you are a member of the Shatter Movement crew. <laughs> Don't even belong. Tell uh -huh. people that. And you will see the real colors of the industry. I mean, mm -hmm. it is not, this is an open secret. Mm -hmm. It is not something that is hidden. For, for certain conversations that are being had in the space certain activities that are being done we all know how certain people are able to talk about it but when it is about shatawali the attitude and response is always different that one there it is no two ways about it mm -hmm. now to also the other one that he pointed out to be shatawali being the savior of the party event yeah that's that is also true mm. that is also very very true because as far as i'm concerned there are so many events so many of them including ones that is even coming from the government that will come and say charlie this one day it is not as if we want you we need you mm -hmm. it is not want it is a need it's a need it's a need so uh, by all means necessary by all means necessary i think last not last year, i think two years ago a fruit chala or something yes the same thing yes yes we need you it is not to say, oh, the other artists are also not doing something or they, they are bogus. No. Mm -hmm. The thing is that everybody has their strength. Mm -hmm. Everyone yeah. has their strength. There are certain people that will give you certain kind of performance. Mm -hmm. That is why as event organizers, you, you prioritize on who, which people are going to bring you the audience and which people you are going to use to dress up the whole event exactly it is there but mm. some people also possess almost all the powers of which if you should get them alone self so done you will be able to you you get all in one i mean there are, last time somebody was some two people were having a debate and one was like okay no i think it was on the black show yes they they were talking about billing artist and somebody said okay if they are to rank artists per repertoire they would put black sheriff even though he's one of the hottest at at the bottom mm -hmm. and they were asking say okay if i build black sheriff black sheriff cannot give me an hour and a half performance 
Oh, now that he has albums and features. So, wako ebia ye kasi ye bo back to back to back. Wako 30, 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Maximum hour. Mm -hmm. But if you should put Shatawale, mm. bring Sarkodi, bring Stoneboy, mm -hmm. any of these three artists can give you about four hours. Yeah. So, if it is a four hour show, rich repertoire. If it is a four hour show, and you have you you are on a tight budget of which you still want to run that four hour show of course some one of the people that you can get break your bank get and still your show your four hour show would even we'll pass look, yeah. mm, mm. no that one is true and even with some of these analogies you realize that yes everybody and their strength and when it comes to crowd and its attraction and also the example that he made even with the timing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even when it is a limited time mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. is also true yeah that is also true if anybody doubts perhaps they like it he, he threw out there they can bring their own examples they can bring as for the tallest of events that shatter mm -hmm. has saved in in the space mm -hmm. it it is there it is there even the, the all african yeah. games that he's even talking about shatter did not even post yeah Oh, he posted he, at the last minute. Yeah, I think on the day, you know, he's been posting yes. most of his flyers. And on the day, even the, the team members yeah. were banned from even announcing it until a day before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Until a day before, mm -hmm. yet still, we but were until we saw um, all African games. Their Facebook page post itself shared the flyer. That's that when we were able to post. Gorilla had asked the white people that are we to announce Plenty. it. They were going back and forth. They, they couldn't say yes or no to it. So, for for that one there, yeah, it is it is very true, and also the danger that he also pointed out that some people are going to use it against him. Well, it, to me, to say yes or no, it can happen. It cannot happen. The, it it will only happen if Shatter and his team allows it. That's okay. that's what I know. Okay. It will only happen if Shatter and his team announce it. Else, it will be very difficult. Looking at the bond and the power that Shatter has. And mm -hmm. how he is able still to get himself relevant in each instance or in each season, it it will be very difficult. That is not to say shut her on Yeah. But then, as a stands, it will be very difficult. Okay. Yes, Chamo. Yeah, I think for the observation, the guy got it right. He's mm -hmm. spot on. Mm -hmm. But before I go on, I I I saw a very funny comment on our page. Okay. The person was saying that. Uh, recently, I think he, oh, he said yes. Niger guy. Yes, I read it. I read that yeah. recently. Yeah. You are fond of mentioning yeah. Shatawale in all your examples. Yes, and that is it because he's coming for <laughs> your for wedding. wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I read it. I read it. I read it. I read yeah, it. I read that, it. That's, uh -huh. That was an interesting comment. Mm -hmm, anyway. mm -hmm. But yeah, you can judge for yourself if you think it's because of the wedding. Or mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. mean, I'm also trying to be no, But who else is there? Yeah, There's yeah, example. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Shatawale is example. Oh no. Hey. Maybe we have not even done enough. Hey. I mean, yeah, yeah. I may even see mm, exactly what and I want to say. coming for my wedding will be it will be a huge deal. Of course. Of course. Of course. It will be a huge deal. So mm. yes. Um okay, I think what the guy said uh, uh, is they are they are I would say they are factual statements and, mm -hmm. and and for that matter, uh, I agree with him. But mm -hmm. the angle that he was saying that um, somebody it will it may wear, it may go against him because of the timing. Uh, that one I disagree. Okay. The, the point is uh, now you are the hot kick. Uh, they need you to save mm -hmm. the day. So mm -hmm. if you can do it, what uh, carefulness do you have to be here? Okay. Just do your best. Yes. People saying negative things if uh, it doesn't go well. I mean, even with if it is not Shatawale but different person, the same thing will happen. Mm. Just that, yeah, you can say that in Shatawale's case, the intensity may be <laughs> yeah, more. more. Yeah. Yes, but uh, that one is for everybody. Even if you are an upcoming artist, they bill you on the show. Hoping that you are you the main person it, yeah. and, uh, and it flops, you will get some small mm -hmm. backlash. Yes, yeah. just that if you are Shatawale, then expect a huge one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, times times five. Yes, mm. 
mm -hmm. uh, if not for anything at all, the higher or the how intensified they go, the more money they may make. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the motivation to even do it to shut up more is higher. That, that's, that's the thing, yes. So me, but for me, I think, yes, Shata and his team should do their best, and mm -hmm. that is it. I mean, l just looking at your back all the time in terms of some of these things, mm -hmm. it will not help you. It will even at, at some point take the energy for you to even do your best. Yeah. So for me, I think it's a unique thing, and he has it. For mm -hmm. now, most of the uh, shows that they want to save some face or they, they they don't want it to go they want it to look good, good in terms of the numbers numbers they will call shatawali they've yeah. been calling him and there are yeah. so many examples calling right. him at the latter hour for mm. him to mm. save the day mm. but i've not seen any other artists going through it mm. maybe for them if it is too late they won't take it Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. the people, or the uh, or a lot are not even yes. Or them, the yeah. event organizers may not trust them yeah. to pull yeah. it off pull the it way off. They, yeah. they want it. Yeah. It's either that way, or the, those people when they know that it's that close, then they will go like no, and this one I won't take it because I'm not sure I can pull it off. Mm. And Shatter, he's been stepping in and doing it. So I think it, it's the best when you have something like that. You are, you are always going to make money. Mm. And looking at the way Shata, he loves money. I don't see him <laughs> giving it up. <laughs> I don't oh see him well. giving it up. <laughs> so yes, I, 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 as for the observation there, I don't know who is going to... spot on. Yeah, who is going to debate it or disagree with it. Mm. And then mm. with him being careful, yes, as, as, a, as a person and even as a, as a brand, Mm -hmm. He is always careful, but yeah. uh, to to, to the extent, extent yeah. uh, that he can, to he what extent it, can he be watchful? Be watchful, yes. Yeah. So uh, for me, they, this is it. I mean, the, the team will do their best. Shata will also take advantage of mm -hmm. the position he is mm -hmm. in now mm -hmm. until they don't need him anymore. I mean, in, yeah. in our game, that's what it is. If they call you, deliver, and then take whatever you deserve, Cover, yeah. because at some point they may not call you again. Oh so yes. if they are calling you now, I mean, take advantage of it. Yeah. Yes, that, that yeah. is so factual. You, you, you can't reign yeah, yeah, forever, in some yeah. people's lives forever. forever yes. A time will come that they will say, okay, enough of this, this man, is. so let me go here. Yeah. Okay, so still in Ghana music, um, we have also seen and confirmed that Stone Boy will be performing at the closing ceremony of the All-African Games. And remember that it was started by Shata Wale, who did the opening alongside Pat Thomas, alongside Ebo Taylor, and uh, some South African King artists. Promise. Oh, sorry, Kim Promise, sorry. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> Kim Promise as well, and to some South African artists in Fell as well. Uh, right. Now, um, as it stands now, the closing is happening here tomorrow, Saturday, and Stoneboy has also been named as the guy to perform alongside Biala. Noella Viala. Now, the fact that you are hosting does not mean you have the power to bring in all your people. But now that we have about five of our people confirm, um, confirmed to be performing, or some already have performed, but uh, when Stoneboy and Viala is done, it means, or uh, when they are done, it means about five more. Mm -hmm. And I'm asking that, what does it mean <coughs> to our music? Is, could, could it be that, yes, it is because um, Africa is listening to us, or... It is because we are available. Which is which? I want us to discuss this. So on your screen, you can see Stone Boy going for his sound check. As usual, artists do this before the main show at the stadium. And that is what you can see on your screens. And I'm asking that, uh, what, what does this mean to us, Ghana Music? Um, we are everywhere. I know they could have brought the Nigerians to come and do this, but... This is for us. Can uh, people <laughs> die? Can you kneel and die? Yeah, so that, that's what I'm asking. What does it mean? Because <laughs> uh, in fact, um, I even heard from some grave information that mm. some Nigerian artists were supposed to perform mm. at the opening and the closing as well. Yeah, okay, but for some reasons. They are all missing action. Yeah, I'm asking, uh, what does it mean? I think the closing, the closing ceremony, cause they have a Congolese artist, yes, a, I know, a Gabonese as yes. well as a Cameroonian, yes, of which all of them, or some of them, I've, I've been seeing videos of 
of some of them being received at the airport oh. and, and, and stuff already. So Oh, I know you say any part ten million question, I don't know. Oh Bobby perform me. I could have said it but I not I did not even pay attention to like that airport. Like how can you be good with Ten million people. Uh, hmm. Ten million. <laughs> yeah, the country was GH Goku. Copy and paste. My own GH Goku wrote it. Ten million. Copy. Uh, it's a Ten million Ghanaians. Ten million Ghanaians. Ah, Richie, go on Facebook. GH Goku's page. And by by this time, comment screen. session. That's it. Do, 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 bring the screen. Do, 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 bring the screen do, do, of the post I'm talking about. Ten million Ghanaians. Yes. Uh, so, what, what does this mean to us? Well, it means it means both. Mm -hmm. um, it means we are available and it means that uh, our strength is also up there. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is not a small event that you would say, okay. Elsewhere, some people may not get the nod like that. I mean, mm -hmm. it is just about who can make the event nice. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, the world is watching. And to the people or the producers of these events, it is business. It is business for them it is not about sympathy mm -hmm. if they would even want to play that sympathetic card of let's say oh because we are doing it here let's bring some of your people it will still be just a few it will mm -hmm. still be the best of the best mm -hmm. and that is what it is and nothing else i mean per even the observation that long john had from the opening ceremony mm -hmm. look at the low publicity that was on this whole event and right after the opening ceremony how eyeballs and attention went straight to the yeah, event African or to games. the all african games i mean mm. it is it is business for them so to them it is just about who can do the job for us so yes it is and it is good for our industry that at least if we are looking for people to represent us whether home or abroad we have the men mm -hmm. that's mm. what it means we have the men and i one thing that gives me joy is the blend like the cocktail of how they were able to move all these artists that is from the legends through to some of the people who are hot yeah. to even the people who are movers and shakers of 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 the streets of the music, of industry, the music yeah. industry so it is it is good at least i can see a touch or a good representation of the whole music industry mm. that mm. is from a boat mm. to pat mm. thomas to Riala mm. to shatter to can mm. promise to stone boy all these guys are a good representation of every section of our music industry yeah per person and the person represents a section of the music mm -hmm. industry per another person and the person also represents that particular section we we maybe for time we, we can't explain all of them their backgrounds and how they they represent these sections but then if you should look at them like that you know where they are how they are all representing our country in that slide so at least for for one thing that we are doing in our country we are not missing out okay which is why I know my brothers like Kelly Dems. So tomorrow, the whole tournament is ending tomorrow? Yeah, the whole tournament. In fact, um, majority of the disciplines is, is ending tonight. I thought it was 28th. No, no, no. Majority of the disciplines is ending tonight. So tomorrow, mm -hmm. they are going to crown like the, the, winner, the winners, that is the countries, mm -hmm. the people who took more medals and, and all of that. And it will be a ceremonial thing. So that's, that's the whole thing. But majority of the disciplines is ending tonight. And, of which some even did yesterday and and all that so yeah so it is it is a good feeling that at least we we also represented mm -hmm. because it would have been a disaster that in your own backyard we still couldn't find people who be fit enough to to showcase something about your culture to the world okay. and per, per the people that are doing the closing tomorrow that is the people representing ghana one person that my hope or my my joy is on to to give us that good representation of our background and cultural feel is Riala, mm, and mm. there's no two ways about it she's i know her her delivery and her stagecraft and i know she will be able to do it and do yeah. it yeah well unfortunately not much is even said about her because of stone boy's presence there no you, you stone can't. boy is bigger than her so stone boy has taken all the attention it, that is in ghana so you because you you can't stone boy is bigger than him. you can't There's no, no the thing is that one. you can't blame anybody no 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 we are not saying uh -huh. we are because saying. he has the machinery to push 
that narrative. So no, not just the machinery. Mm -hmm. And the stature is bigger, bigger than, than yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Yes, Chemo. Um, what does it mean? Um, our artists flooding the All African Games musical performances. <laughs> But this is debatable. What? We are like the same way. Oh, she can. Send her for her feeling, the, we can. For ratings, nobody would want to uh, rate her. Who uh, 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 rate herself? Uh, uh, facts are facts. Uh, uh, but facts uh, don't care about your emotions. Emotions, uh, not uh, at all. Uh, yes, mm. yes, sir. You can ask Ben Shapiro. Jamo, let's go. Anyway, um, what? What I'm about to say, it will sound a bit controversial, mm -hmm. but uh, I think it means that uh, the LOC, the mm -hmm. Local Organizing Committee, mm -hmm. were Ghanaians. And obviously, they would put more Ghanaians on board. It's not about Ghana having all the good musicians in Africa, no. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, Local Organizing Committee coming from Ghana, deciding what they think people would love to see. Mm -hmm. So getting more Ghanaians there means they think that the, the musicians that they are putting out there to entertain uh, people who will come and in fact people watching us all over the world, Ghanaians in there are capable of doing that. That's why they are there. So what it also means is that yes, the Ghanaians that they have selected, they have some form of trust in them that they can deliver what they mm -hmm. want to deliver to mm -hmm. Africa. So yes, it's positive for the uh, artists who got the nod to do something for Africa and Ghana specifically. So for me, I think it's the decision coming from the local organizing committee and in consultation with the foreign uh, uh, produ producers who, who came on board. Mm -hmm. So that's why it wasn't only uh, Ghanaians. There were other uh, African country musicians also performing there. Uh, they, we have, uh, I think, a South African came in. Yeah, and they're opening. Mm -hmm. Cameroonian, mm -hmm. and now the. No, Cameroon, the, Gabon, and Congo are, are right. now Closing. coming to close. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, what it tells me is that uh, for the organizers, they think that these people or these entertainers can deliver what they want to project. Okay. That's what it is. For the Nigerians that were not able to make it, it's two things. One is either uh, the organizer couldn't afford them mm -hmm. because they will not charge anything cheap. Yeah. It's one way. And the other way is that, okay, for what we want to do, we don't think the Nigerians will deliver for us. Mm -hmm. So it's that two things. Either they were thinking, well, the what we want to achieve or what we want to project we are not trusting that the nigerian artists will do it for us or the nigerian artists were charging so much that they think mm -hmm. no then we can't afford you let's go with others yeah so that's the two things until they will come out and give us the real reason why they chose these kind of entertainers to do it mm -hmm. we can only speculate or based on uh, uh, one or two factors share our opinion how it happened and why it is like this so for me i think the 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 decision were on the local organizing committee and they think these are the best people to uh, project whatever they want to put out mm. yeah mm. well so we wish all of them well so far um stone boy viala doing the closing and the rest of the artists from uh, Congo, Cameroon, and where again? Gabon. Gabon. And Gabon. We wish them well. We pray to have a good show tomorrow, at least to wrap up the All African Games, because Africa has been watching. Though there were some low moments, um, especially when they had to present medals and the stand that they had to just step on to get it, <laughs> they were all looking shabbly and all those things. And then the bike issue. Uh, yeah, like the there, were, there were some yeah. low moments. So if you can finish on a big bank, I think it will be something good that Ghana would also be proud of. So we can move on to another thing. Afrobeat will crash soon. And this is a statement coming from um, radio, radio presenter, TV presenter, or better as the media personality, Jay Foley. Why is he saying this? Uh, Richie, do you have a video or we read a story? 
whichever one you have let's get it and yeah good okay so let's watch uh, Jeff Foley uh, currently he works with Trey Music TV and um, he has his show running on plus 89.9 FM as well where he has predicted that very soon the Afro beats craze will crash let's watch him I'll be back when you cut this part of the video, one of those things that will trend is that uh -huh. the Afrobeats <laughs> is Nigerian music. Forget the odd truth, I'm going to say this might mean when you cut this part of the video, one of those things that will trend is that uh -huh. the Afrobeats <laughs> is Nigerian music. Forget about it. Because when a Ghanaian does Afrobeats, uh -huh. it, it, unless you add the Nigerian accent to it, you're lost, the pigeon. Because a lot of the songs that we release now from our artists are Afrobeats, but those songs don't get anywhere. Because, listen, our girls are talking, speaking the Nigerian pigeon. You understand? Our guys are using the really? homo and all those things. It's like all, it's all marketing. It's, they've taken, they've taken yeah, the sound. The sound is there, and they run with it because they have the money to be able to run with it. We don't, and the we numbers. Yeah. You know what's going to happen to Afrobeats? Right. This is a prediction that you play back in twenty twenty nine, and you go like, "Wow, Jay said it. it's going to crash." Oh, wow! Well, just watch it. Champion. Wait, I said it's not for us. Listen, this statement is not for us today. It's for the future. Spoiler. And I'm not saying that no, I'm not future. saying that <laughs> Africa is going to lose that. <coughs> the evolution of Afrobeats is coming faster than the existence of Afrobeats now. And you just wait. And what you would see, it, what would be its demise? The world's attention. Question? Uh -huh. The world's attention is now coming to Africa. And when when the West is coming to Africa, like like back then, they're now gonna start looking for African. African things. They're not going to go. So where I heard, for example, I'm on the BET Awards red carpet, talking to this other presenter. Hi, you know, I'm some Jay. It's like, yeah, she's mentioned her name. And then, uh, where are you from? Like, I'm from Ghana. Oh, Ghana. Ghana. Like, Guyana. Okay. So, <laughs> Guyana. <laughs> so now the West is now going to start looking into African uh, cultural, um, you know, our, 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 our cultural, our cultural I, identity. I, well, I, I, identity, so again. Our roots. They're going to start looking and now they're going to start picking. People who have never heard of Africa, but they've heard of Africa through Afrobeats are now going to start concentrating and now start, oh wait, there's Swahili. Oh wait, there's this. Oh wait, there's that. You know what? I think I prefer that. Then they start handpicking. By then, the real, the real, I don't know what word but will be in the next couple of 10 years to come, but it wouldn't be Afrobeats. It would be something else that really represents Africa. Afrobeats is saturated um, um, African music, if I can say that. Well, so that was a prophecy from <laughs> Jay Foley. And um, I don't know if you guys would agree or disagree with him. Jamal, you, you can start this. Yeah, well, you see, predictions is a bit difficult to... The, uh, how do I put it? Um, when it is not so clear, it's two things. Um, it can come to pass or it may fail. Mm -hmm. Why I will not push back so much? Is because anything can happen. Mm -hmm. You see, before Afrobeat, there were other genres making waves, uh, having all the noise uh, and the attention. And the attention. And then Afrobeat came, pushed them to a side a bit, and now it's Afrobeat. So obviously, something new will come and also push Afrobeat. Mm -hmm. But when is the issue? So that's where me, I will have a pushback about what he said mm. you mm. can't just give a date or uh, uh, some years for it to happen okay because it can happen tomorrow somebody can come out as a sensation and people will jump on and everything will change mm -hmm. because especially when the definition of a genre mm -hmm. is so loose like that mm. because yeah, everybody can everybody can in, just put in, put in their own definition yes and they are good. Uh, give any name and then tomorrow is all over the place mm -hmm. So for him to give uh, some years that it will happen, that's where I have issue. But obviously, it will not. Afrobeat will not remain forever. Yeah. There will be a new genre pushing it a new to, the, sound. to, the, to yeah. the side. Yes, mm. it is happening not only in Ghana, all over the world. At some point in America, it wasn't a rap music mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. We had jazz. Mm. We had uh, uh, R&B. Yeah. We have country music mm. Mm. were ruling mm. at some mm. point. Mm. They are not gone. Yeah. It's, they are still there, but now... Center stage, it, some yes, sounds have to uh, be center uh, stage. Exactly. Yeah. Now it's rap music. And in fact, Afrobeat is really also uh, uh, pushing hard in even in America and other 
uh, Western countries. So for them, Afrobeat may even take over there because some of their artists will start participating in doing Afrobeat and it will take over. Like uh, dance or at a point we're trying to push reggae music to a side. We know that reggae music is one of the genres that has stand for a very long time. But you see, you go to certain places like Ghana here, you, you will not measure reggae music as the main thing happening here. True. But reggae music is still here. Mm -hmm. The same thing will happen to Afrobeat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not like Afrobeat will go forever, no. But it will, there will be, the, the spotlight will be on different genre, but Afrobeat will still be there. Okay. But for him to give a date for it, that one I disagree. But I know for sure that it will not stay forever. Some genre, some way, somehow, will, will come, come and, and compete. And, uh, yes. Well, Ro. Well, um, I, I also disagree even with the time frame. Mm -hmm. and the I, five years. Yes, mm -hmm. the five years. Mm -hmm. I, I also disagree because if if we should even so you think it to be how many years oh i'm 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 giving my i, I would even give myself about two or three decades more mm. oh yeah, yeah yeah because you see mm -hmm. when when you look at the craze and the energy of which people are pushing maybe for for us here we may not see it because our stake in even the push currently is is not much Mm -hmm. So oh, mm -hmm. besides we we don't have much so much to lose. You understand? Because if you should ask yourself, how many of our people are investing the millions of dollars into pushing their Afrobeat songs to the other parts of the world? It mm -hmm. is just few. But elsewhere, like Nigeria, you can count about five, six, seven, ten artists who are investing millions of dollars to make sure they are sound, which is called Afrobeat travel the length and breadth of, of 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 the world and to them if you should tell them that it is going to crash in the next five years they will laugh at you because the investment that they are making is not a five-year investment mm -hmm. they are looking at a whole decade of which they can even transfer to another generation mm. Mm. and mm. and fortunately for them they are getting people that are buying into that ideology in the sense that let's look at the level of investment uh, a music label like maven record don jazzy don jazzy's record was able to partner with some of these top labels out there okay this is something that they are if the, the those companies sense or per their research know that this is going to die in the next five years they would never do that partnership mm. Mm -hmm. they wouldn't do it they would prefer to take you under their belt and when it goes off they, they lay you off they will never do that partnership so even with some of when you make when you compare some of these things you realize that the time frame that he's given is too short mm -hmm. and i would give about two or three decades and again afrobeat i i wish he would define his crash mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. as it stands the crash is is something that i am finding difficult to understand especially with a music genre because we all know how Revolutions come with regards to music genre. Mm -hmm. High life, hip life, um, Afrobeats, mm -hmm. reggae dancehall. All these things are genre. They are Azonto. Mm -hmm. Azonto is not in the system, but you can still find people doing Azonto. Yeah, the sound. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if at a point we, we probably call it a different name, it doesn't mean that this particular genre is dead or is crashed. If you want to say it's crashed, and per my understanding of a scratching, meaning that it, it, it will no longer be in existence, then it will not, it will not happen. Mm -hmm. Looking at the level of investment that people are putting in it now, for a genre to stand the test of time, investment into it is also key. Yeah. For reggae dancehall that has stood the test of time, the level of investment that went into reggae dancehall is, is unmatched. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's so much because if you look at the number of artists that went on that particular genre and where the investments were coming from from all over the world i mean the later ones we maybe here we had reggae artists mm -hmm. of which we were investing in them others had huge reggae artists and they were investing huge so yeah. even in that sense you that is the reason why it stood the test of time or it has been able to stand oh, even 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 till now. So in that sense, there, when you look at the level of investment that Afrobeat is getting now, 
five years for it to crash or even die or go on a low is too short. Hmm. Well, um, different opinions according to what Jay Foley had said on his um, on that platform with that is the uncut is that is that also called uncut yeah, yeah uncut. uncut with d black d black and zion felix show is also called uncut mm. yeah <laughs> okay it is what it is we are now cut. now finally finally let's do this before we run away from here i think we all woke up to um information tags and um, cries from fans that they cannot find shatawales connect album on his youtube and after the report came out many are worried many are crying many are disturbed many want information as to why the album the connect album an album i'm sure every evening some of them they go on there because the, the way people are complaining even tells me that indeed um this is something people have been looking out for and it feels good to even know that to start with and shatter actually came to announce on his facebook that yes it is true he deleted the album from the page First of all, I want to know how my people feel here before we close the show. It says, nobody handles my YouTube. I run things on that platform myself. So no one deleted the Connect album. I did it myself. I said, yes, that's me, Shatawale. I don't play with my money. <laughs> <laughs> money man, mm. Shata Papa. <laughs> well, mm. so let's, let, let me get how my people are feeling about it. Let me start with you. Mm. Um, let's close on this. Well, I mean, it is a business decision. Mm -hmm. The first, my first observation would be, it is a business decision, mm -hmm. and and like he said, he he said a lot in in the statement that he made, that aside for him to even take the decision, look at the energy he put even mm -hmm. in creating this particular project, the mm -hmm. energy that he used even in pushing it and up, mm -hmm. and for him to even have the take the decision to delete it, then it means there's something wrong somewhere for him. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Mm. And if if you ask me, it is still on other distribution platforms. Mm -hmm. So if one of the platforms is gone, mm -hmm. it is just, and he has come out to explain that, okay, nobody plays with my man. Then it is just a business decision that, mm. okay, perhaps on this particular side of business, it is not going well. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a very simple language for him. Mm. Because we know how conscious he is about his music business money exactly and in in all in all aspects and in all fairness this is this is a business decision that cannot be taken overnight mm -hmm. so if he's been able to do it yes he did he does this he did this particular project with his partners mm -hmm. and for him to have taken this decision then it means that there has been certain level of conversation maybe just a wild guess it could even be on a certain business decision that okay can we take it off from this platform and do this here or do that here yeah this is we live in a space where platforms grow or spring up each and every day mm. that somebody mm. can say okay let me take it off from this place and give it to exclusive to another platform mm. all mm. these things are things that we can still consider as part of the conversation but on top of head or on the priority list the the business decision of of this whole move is, is paramount that it is money matter simple well chamo let's close yeah so it's on other platforms yes I, uh, that, that uh, i know spotify yeah. boom play and mm. other platforms mm. yeah, is there and then when you go under it even the uh, the copyright and then the distribution thing you will see that uh, is uh, shatter movement empire and bankoli entertainment mm -hmm. under exclusive licensing to mad Solutions. solutions yeah yes llc yeah mm. so so obviously is a business decision going on in there mm -hmm. and shatawala uh, shatawali telling you that he runs his own youtube mm -hmm. should also give a clue of why that thing can happen yeah. if he runs his own youtube mm. then uh, in terms of uh, where the revenue will go and all that mm -hmm. it could be an issue okay so um if now it's no more there then we know why it is like that and then mm -hmm. he has confirmed that yes he did it mm. and he did it because he doesn't play with his money yeah so obviously it's, it's, it's uh, we can connect it to 
uh, money, money matters. matters. Yes, yeah. as, as he, he, he said. He so, said it in yes. that particular place. So it's not anything apart from a business decision, mm. whether mm. Um, uh, putting it on YouTube is okay for him or not. It's a business decision, not any other thing. Mm. And people should, should, see it to, should see it as such. Okay. That is a business decision. Mm. And managing his own YouTube, but not owning the whole uh, uh, thing, should tell you why it is no more there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because he uh, is not under his control mm -hmm. now because mm -hmm. it was a pas mm -hmm. partnership thing. Mm. So, yes, he can decide to leave it on his uh, YouTube, all right, but he can also decide to take it off. Because at that point, it's not only him mm -hmm. taking that decision. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's about the partnership. So people should just see it as business decision and nothing less, nothing more. Well, that is how beautiful. And if they want to enjoy it, they should go on the other platform, the streaming platforms. It's available. Exactly. That is how beautifully we are closing today's show, which also closes the week. It has been beautiful, very fruitful, beautiful information shared here on the show and i've been doing the week with roland amate as well as in team do solomon chemo let me use this opportunity to also say thanks to digital rasta currency which reflects for making it happen until then remember we will meet again on monday on showbiz daily but the rest of our videos will be running here on sammy flex tv keep watching subscribe to us and let's do some more my name is sammy flex we are out of here bye bye